What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie to 988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. This is if uh, our Monday mailbag series in which uh, there's a P.O. box where you can send me mail and uh, we take a look at it and read it online and I get to share the experience of hearing from you and you get the experience of knowing that I've read something you've written me. Um, this is exciting because this is the first Monday mailbag since we hit our half million mark number of subscribers. Hooray, I'm so excited and it's so exciting to know that out of those half million people, uh, almost 30 people have written me this week. So we're going to go through each letter, we're going to go through each package, we're going to talk about it, and it's going to be a blast. But I want to thank you so much for being part of my YouTube experience, for caring enough to either watch this or to, to send me something. I love you for it. So let's get started. One thing before we get started here, a lot of you have sent me stuff and I've either not received it or I have received it and it didn't make the video because of the way I do the editing. I'm so sorry if your letter has gotten out, but just know that I read everything that I receive, even if it doesn't make the final cut of the video because of my stupid editing system. I read every single piece. I absolutely adore getting it and I love you so much for sending it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want you to feel left out, and I promise you I'm trying to get to every letter I can. Thank you so much. There was a huge package from Chris Nicoletta. I've tried to add you on Skype to talk to you about it. I want to show the stuff off really bad. I guess I will next week. It's awesome, the stuff he sent me. But Chris, in case we never get to it, if you decide that that's not what we're going to do, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Travis and Gavin Jameson of the YouTube channel Generation Gap Game Review uh, said that his son was a big fan of my YouTube channel and did not really get YouTube uh, until he watched one of my videos. Said that he's a big guy himself, said that he loved gaming, and he figured if I could put myself out there, him and his son could put himself out there as well. They started creating uh, YouTube videos as something that his son could enjoy forever that he could have on the internet forever he also sent me and i want to get the place right uh tarpon strings florida is the producer of 80 percent of the world's natural sponges so he sent me this natural sponge um with care instructions and uh, i can't wait to, uh, i can't wait to use it let's be honest i can't wait for my fiance to use it but she's just gonna get a kick out of it thank you Callus708 sent me a copy of The Killing Stroke to add to my collection. And this collection of Marvel's greatest heroes that I can display or play... I'm, I'm going to play with these. Scott sent me this awesome painting of Spider-Man that I can't wait to get framed and hung up. He also wanted to remind me that while my life has not been very easy, that even the hardest steel needs to be tempered by fire. And I love that. Um... A viewer by the name of Cam sent in this very dark and brooding uh, painting, which I absolutely love. Uh, but he also wrote in to ask for advice. He said that he grew up in an abusive family like me, grew up overweight and picked on, and he more importantly wants advice on his mother, who is abusive, crazy, and even suicidal. He says he wants to help her, but he also wants to be separated from it. This is exactly how I felt for the entirety of my mother's life. I chose to be there for her, and I chose to do my best to support her. Uh, eventually, she did what she wanted to do anyway. My brother also supported her. My sister chose not to. And no matter what you decide, it's going to be the right decision. Whether you decide to subject yourself to it to be the good son, or whether or not you decide to focus on yourself and make your life better. Either decision is the right decision. I made the de decision, de decision to stick around, and it was a difficult and painful and hard one to make. I can't necessarily say it was the right one, but I think if you look at your heart, you'll know the right thing to do. We all have duties when it comes to being a son or a daughter, but our parents also have duties to take care of us. And if your parent broke her vow first, it might not be so wrong to break yours. Best of luck, Cam. YouTube user Y-O-E-Y Crack, the number one, said that he had recently gotten bariatric surgery and went from 
401 pounds to 245 and is still dropping weight. He says his goal is to lose another 50 pounds, and he encourages me to look uh, towards having the surgery. I want to let you know that after getting married in September, and I'll finally have some decent insurance, it is absolutely my intent to look into whether or not I'm a candidate for that surgery. So don't you worry. If I can't lose the weight naturally, we're going to have surgical intervention. I promise you. He also told me a very inspiring story about how MMO saved his life, and I wanted to thank you for sharing. Wesley from Maryville, Tennessee, sent me this awesome collection of Pokemon cards and stickers, including a Pocket Monster card in Japanese. I've never seen that before. Very cool. Thank you so much, Wesley. Oh, and Wesley, tell your friend Matthew I said hi. Jordan from Kentucky writes me to say that he has always dreamt of joining the military when he turned 18. He said he wants to serve his country and to make his family proud. He also says that his girlfriend doesn't agree with it, that he's already given her a promise ring, but she wants him to stay at home to be with him. And it's a difficult decision, and he wants my advice. Well, Jordan, I want to tell you that I have absolutely nothing but respect for the people that choose to join the military. I understand that some people do it to protect us, like you want to. Some people do it for the glory. Some people do it to serve. Some people do it to get away. And I think that it's a good decision sometimes. But it's not for everybody, and it might not be for you. If you truly love this girl, and if she truly loves you, maybe it's the right decision to stay home. There are a lot of ways to serve right here in the United States. You can be a f uh, first responder. You can work as an EMT, a firefighter, or a policeman. You can serve and protect just the way you would out in whatever country we're fighting at the time. Whatever decision you make will be the right one. You have to do what your heart tells you. And I think because you wrote this letter, I think you maybe already know. Best of luck. Cameron from Frankfurt says, This is what I get for making him laugh every day. I need to make this guy laugh more. My friend Danny drew this picture of me drinking Mountain Dew and shaking a bell thing and kicking people out of the guild. I really think he captured my likeness. Cat H wrote me to remind me to love myself for who I am, all the good things that make you you, and all the flaws. Promise to try. Nick from Maryland wrote me to say that his father passed a couple of years ago, and at first it hit him so hard he was unable to continue gaming because gaming was something he shared with his dad. Eventually, though, when he started gaming again, uh, he was inspired to make YouTube videos about gaming because of me. Uh, he says every time he uploads a video, he thinks about his dad, and that makes him feel really awesome. I think that's great because they say you die two deaths. One, when your body stops functioning, and a second time when you're forgotten about and nobody ever says your name again or something to that effect. I think as long as you're keeping his spirit alive in your head and your heart, I think that's beautiful. And I'm so glad that YouTube gives you that opportunity. Matt T. from Amarillo, Texas gave me this flattened and lengthened quarter with Spider-Man imprinted on it. Uh, he says that I remind him a lot of Spider-Man, which is awesome to me because Spider-Man's my favorite hero. In fact, I really do think I kind of try to act like Spider-Man from time to time. Robert sent me this awesome drawing of Skinny Boogie, or maybe it's Skinny Francis, playing a little bit of magic. He also said that I've inspired him to come out to his parents and I'm so, so happy for you, Robert, that you are capable of accepting who you are, loving yourself enough, and giving your parents a chance to love you too. I'm proud of you. A 17-year-old from London who wants to remain anonymous wrote me to say that he's dealing with a lot of negative emotions after a very bad heartbreak. He said that since I had dealt with it, he wondered how I got over it. Well, to be honest with you, it's difficult. Sometimes, when you get hurt really bad, you never really get over it. It's just something you learn to live with. And that's what you really have to do. You have to learn to live with it. You have to make room in your heart and in your life for that pain, but also make room for good things as well. Keep pushing, keep trying, keep trying to enjoy new experiences, find things that you love doing, and find someone who you will love and will love you for it. That's all there is that you can do. That pain will fade given time, 
that you can't give up while you're waiting for that to happen. Best of luck. James from the UK sent me a complete collection of UK coins, which is very cool, and I'm very grateful to have it. He also said that he, like me, has had a lot of trouble connecting with people. He says he has a lot of social anxiety, and he has um, problems making a genuine connection for a variety of reasons I'm going to leave private. He says he's even developed a drinking problem because of it. James, not only did I have this problem, but I did find a solution that worked for me. Even though a lot of people were difficult to deal with or just not my kind of person, I would routinely try to find a piece of common ground or something interesting about that person. And even though they might not be as smart as me or as fun as me or as interested in the same things I am, we could find common ground. Maybe it was a love of a song, maybe it was a love of music, maybe it was a love of life, maybe it was just a movie we saw or a book that we'd both read. But I tried to make conversation that way. And sure, most of the people that I met that way weren't my best friends, but they had friends too. And I networked and I networked and I networked until I have a huge group of people who I genuinely love surrounding me at all times. I highly recommend you do the same thing. He also sent me this awesome dragon head for Francis to fight. You son of a bitch. Curtis from Taft, California wrote me a beautiful letter. Um, one that I'm still trying to process, but I, I just wanted to start talking about it while I could. Um, he talks about um, his faith in God, which is beautiful to hear. He talks about an experience in his life where he made the decision to live it the way he wanted to. He talks about his struggle with his family. He talks about some amazing stuff. Um, but the thing that really touched me the most is he referred to me as a healer. And he said that when I help someone in this life make a better decision for themselves, that they go on to do better things for the people around them. And he made me realize that in this moment of time, when you and I are talking today, if some of the advice I've given other people or some of the advice I've given you uh, allows you to live a better, healthier, happier life, you're going to allow the people around you to live a better and healthier life. And, and I think that's really beautiful. He reminded me that um, the Francis videos are funny, but the real work is in doing these Monday mailbags and responding to people and to being there for you. And Curtis, I thank you for that reminder. I really do. I'm glad to see that you're doing the same thing in your life as well. And while we may agree, we'll have to agree to disagree on the whole God thing, I'm glad that you found something you truly love. By the way, this is, this is Curtis. And he kicks much ass. He uh, also sent me something I, I'm so glad to add to my hoarding collection. These film reels from the, I don't know if you can see it, from The Hobbit. So, so cool. Thanks, dude. Joel Moore from the UK wrote me to say that he found my videos very inspiring. He said that he wanted to write me after seeing my Draw My Life video. He says that I know that your mother hit you and you lost your father in similar circumstances as I did. So I want, uh, so I know what you went through and I'm sorry. The memories of those beatings will never leave me. But after all is said and done, she was my mother and that will never change. Um, true words, my friend. Never been spoken. Shane wrote me an awesome letter that I'm going to keep private. Uh, this is Shane and uh, his wife. Uh, wonderful pictures, and I really enjoyed going through these. Um, he also sent me something I had never seen before in my life. Check this out. An EverQuest miniature. That's cool. Matthew Slade wrote me tonight uh, and, uh, with a very passionate letter. He's the founder of Turpentine Valley Entertainment, and he sent me this DVD of his work. Now, I haven't watched it yet, but I'm going to ask you a favor. His letter was so passionate. Uh, he is a YouTube user, S-L-A-D-Y-01. Again, his series is On the Hunt for episodes 1 through 9 are available on YouTube. He says he spent a ridiculous amount of money, time, and production value getting this together and on YouTube. Let's all watch it together this week, shall we? And maybe it'll be good. Um, Matthew, I haven't seen it yet, and I'm giving you the best plug I can. So here's to hoping you're good. 
And the most creative letter of the week comes from my friend John, who sent me this nerd test to take to see exactly how nerdy I am. And he even gave me the answer key on the back, which top right is, uh, is a boogie. So I'm going to take this. Watch my Twitter for my score. And, of course, we've got postcards. This one from the Bone comic book. This one from Amarillo, Texas. This one from Manchester. This one from Northern Ireland. That's my best Irish accent. Uh, this one from Tampa, Florida. This one from Huntington, West Virginia. This one's a Call of Duty one. Call of Duty one. Sent in uh, by Elliot. And this one from Tarpon Springs, Florida. That's where we got that cool sponge from. Well, that's going to do it for this Monday mailbag. I am exhausted. I'm sorry if I wasn't as enthusiastic as I normally am during these. I'm just absolutely exhausted, and I think I'm coming down with a bit of a summer cold. A lot of my friends were suffering at our uh, my fiancé's birthday party tonight. I just want to thank you so much for taking the time to write me, for taking the time to watch my videos, and for being one of the 500,000 people who are watching my stuff. Thank you so much for being there for me. I love you, and I'll talk to you soon.